Hi, my name is Rob Warner, and this is the third video we've produced looking at different features of Dixerit Plus. The tool that enables you to allow more partially sighted and visually impaired users to access your website by providing speech and other accessibility options to them. We've already looked in the first video at how you can hover over any piece of text as my mouse is on the screen at the moment and read that paragraph very very quickly and very easily. We've also in the second video looked at how you can read a numbered list of links that the user can then click or enter the number in to get to any page on your website really really easily even if they can't see the overall structure of the page to understand and navigate it. In this third video we're going to look at something different again which is the magnification tool. Now Dixerit Plus is the only tool of its type on the market that enables speech on a website that also provides other tools to reach more and more users. Now for some users speech alone isn't enough. Magnification might help them to achieve a successful navigation around your website. I just click the button to set the magnifier and I automatically get a download to a magnifi magnifying application. Now that's really really simple but really really important. When this is downloaded you can magnify the entire screen in a number of ways. Okay now that's downloaded we just hit the run button and what we'll get in a few seconds time is this screen magnified and split into two. For most blind and visually impaired users, degrees of magnification that are required will vary. Uh, typically, a severely partially sighted user may need a six times magnification. And that's something that Internet Explorer and other browsers, whilst they do, they don't do particularly well. This particular tool allows you to go to 32 times magnification should you need it, uh, which is obviously very, very high and you get more or less one or two letters on a screen. You can see how it started up. We've started up in a split screen mode here. So I have the original unmagnified half at the top and I have a magnified section at the bottom. And as you can see, my mouse moves in sync along the two sections. So I can scroll up and down and I can see the text right across the screen magnified two times. As you can see, my dictionary ability and the ability to get speech as well is still there and even the speech icons are now magnified as well. What I'm going to do for a second is just go into style and I'm going to go into lens mode. There's another different way of using the system. That allows you to focus on particular areas of the screen and magnify just that area. Okay, this allows individual users to find the best way that works for them. It's far more powerful than the magnification that you can get with Internet Explorer or Firefox or anything of that kind of type. If I go into style again and I have a look, I'll go for line now. A line gives me a magnified bar across the screen. Now what's also important is that this actually stays active, the magnification stays working even if I switch away from my browser while ever I keep working on this PC. So if I switch down at the bottom of the screen here to my Camtasia Studio session that I'm using to record this video, you can see Camtasia is still magnified. What that means is that if you're using this to work, say, doing some research and go into a, a library perhaps, and find some information from the web then paste it into a Word document you can still get access to it no problem at all and you don't go from a nice magnified environment to one that isn't magnified because so obviously that would be very very difficult for a user I'm just going to turn it off now so you can see magnification really really helps to reach more users than you can reach with speech alone or you can reach with purely doing W3C compliance Thank you for now. Bye-bye.